I Tommy Lilla Konsthall får vi uppleva två fotografers skildringar av konflikterna i Mellanöstern. På övre planet möter vi Hanni Musalam som föddes i Palestina men bor i Saudiarabien. Med hjälp av en kamera och tv har han fryst bilder av krigets ögonblick. På nedre plan får vi ta del av Torbjörn Larssons berättelse om Yusuf och Gada. De är statslösa palestinier som sökte en bättre framtid i Sverige. I took these pictures four years ago when there was a war against Gaza uh, by the Israeli occupation. I was living in, in Riyadh at that moment. Uh, I was watching the TV all the time. It was a 21 days uh, war. Um, and uh, I just de decided to start taking pictures of these violations uh, to try to, to freeze uh, these moments and uh, to show it to the public, especially here in Europe where there's uh, uh, not much to know about what's happening there. This place is the place where I was born and uh, I was raised up. I left it 20 years ago, but still remains in my, uh, in my heart and in my memory as uh, a beautiful place. But uh, yeah, it's being now, it's being uh, destroyed and uh, I had to show it in a way that reflects the, real, the reality right now and to compare it to what was before that. Uh, the present is worse than these pictures. Uh, unfortunately, it's been going for more than 60 years and each time it's stronger and stronger and the oppression is, real, is really harder. It's a place where you can't live anymore. It's not a place for people. I noticed during the last decade or two that um, people are not really interested in, in the person behind the refugee. So um, and that is a fact. I mean, when you read uh, something in the paper, it's always a statistic. And it always says that uh, this is how many people that comes to Sweden, this is how much the cost is for that. So then I started to think about how could I show that? I mean, who, how, can I sh how can I show who the person is and how they come to Sweden? And then I realized that um, I would like to follow a family from, from a refugee camp or, or from a war zone seeking as asylum in, in Sweden. Um, I was invited uh, with the migration office to come um, for uh, to go with them down to Syria. They were, they, uh, the Swe Sweden have decided to take out 150 people from from this particular refugee camp. So I was very lucky because um, I had planned uh, to make something about refugees, and suddenly this 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 occurred, and, and I grabbed grab the, the opportunity to go there. But the thing was that uh, since they had to be very careful and um, when they made the interviews, I didn't have a chance to know which families in advance that was going to get asylum in Sweden. Sometimes you're lucky because Josef and Gada, we got very, we got a good connections um, between each other and, the, and um, when I got back to Sweden after this uh, journey, I um, called up the immigration office and asked, because I just had a few numbers, their di diary number of the families, and, uh, and I, I knew which one that was Josef and Gadas, the families. So I just called and I said, ah, uh, oh, no, uh, do you have this, are they going to be accepted to come to Sweden? And then they said, oh, I can't find them here, I don't think so. And then, oh, here it is, and I was like, yes.
uh, everybody has his own images stored in his mind from his childhood, the place where he used to play with his friends, with his family. Um, Gaza is the place where I was born and I had a wonderful life, of course. Uh, I'm far now, I'm far away, and uh, the, the picture at that place is really changing uh, by time, you know. Uh, so you have pictures stored in your mind, and you have the pictures now, and they're completely different. This is what makes me confused. Why is this happening?